Hello, this is Sheila Finkelstein of Technology for Seniors Made Easy.com. In this video for Mac users, I'm going to show you a quick way to edit, reduce size, and crop from pictures from iPhoto using Preview as the editing tool. A lot of people now like to edit in iPhoto and just take the photos and paste them as they are, upload them into photo into um, Facebook and other places, and even email. And unless you use the email uh, command in iPhoto, your photos are going to be very, very large. So let me show you what I mean. First, go into your dock. My dock is on the side. A lot of you probably have it on the bottom. And open iPhoto. Now going to edit two different uh, pictures. I've chosen to work with this one, and if you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see that it actually gives you the size. This is 2.3 megabytes, which is very large for emailing, and if you want to post it on the website or someplace else, it will take a long time to load. So I am taking, selecting this picture, and I'm dragging it into Preview, into my dock, and it's going to open up in Preview. Uh, let me just see. I have different backgrounds going here, and the picture should have opened. I'm going to the window and image 2653. There it is. Now, to edit this now and to crop it, I'm going up to the top and into Tools, Adjust Size. And you'll note it reduced it to 72 and it's now down to 2 megabytes, which it says it was 2.4 megabytes. Putting OK. Now back into Tools. Now before I go into Tools, I'm actually taking my mouse and really all I want to do is capture this one picture. And you'll see another one I'm doing that was taken in the daytime. This is a stained glass piece that I did at night. I'm dragging the box where I want it. And when it's finished, I can do Command K, or that's the shortcut, or in the tools, you'll also see I could have selected Crop, which is no longer highlighted since, well, we'll do it again because you need the markers here. So let me do a little bit more cropping. I want to get it up. I don't want to cut off the thing. And now I'll go to Tools. Now you see Crop is highlighted. Okay, next thing I want to do, actually I might want to cut out a little bit more on the side. Command-K. Uh, I'm going up to the tools. I can actually adjust the color and different exposures come up. You can play with that, the contrast. I can move that aside so you'll see what I'm doing. Sharpness. Right now I'm going to leave it. So if I want to leave it, I have reset all and close it and nothing has changed. Now I'm going back up to adjust size. 72 pixels per inch is good for the, um, for the web. I want to take this down if I want a thumbnail shot. I may take it down as low as uh, 200 pixels high. Uh, by the way, I triple did my mouse so that it highlighted the whole thing. Triple click my mouse. I'm going to see it larger, so it's Command plus uh, Control, Command plus, and now I'm seeing it larger. Now that's much too large. I might have made that a little bit too small. So I'm going back to Z. This is the original size. I'm making it smaller to see. I'm going Control minus. And let's make this for now so you get a little better idea. Adjust size. Uh, 
adjust size and I'm now going to take it to 600 pixels high. It's 470 wide. Making it larger so you can see it. Now if you look at the tool, I'm going to adjust size again, you'll see that this is now 131 kilobytes. That's a, at 100% size, which is really a good size for emailing, for posting on the web. You could have it a little bit larger, but you can see the difference now in size. That's substantially different from the 2. Point megabytes or whatever it was. Okay, now all I have to do is save as, and I can choose to put it in any folder I want. I'll put this in my Technology for Seniors um, folder. I have, this is for videos screenshots for posts. Okay, so I'm naming this now Preview Edit Window and that's it. Now if I want to email that, it's to remember where I'm saving it. If I want to email that I will just go into that folder and find this and just attach it. So we'll do that one more time. I'm going back into iPhoto. I said that was a nighttime picture of that uh, piece of stained glass. Now if I want to go into the daytime to show the contrast between night and day, again, I can drag. As soon as I click it's going back, I'm dragging that one into preview. There we go. Tools. Now I want to drop it. Command K. Cropped. I want to see if I want to adjust the color, do anything with the color, make it a little bit lighter in the exposure, the contrast. And for now, I'm going to leave this also. Reset all because I'm going to stick with the original. Tools, adjust size. Now right now this one is 1.1 megabytes. I'm adjusting the size. This 600 high before is what I think I did. This would be a little bit wider. It's 500. Okay. Just check the size and you'll see the difference. That's now down to 129 kilobytes from one point something megabytes. And that's it. Uh, on the site, you'll see if I wanted to put my signature there, there's tools for annotation. I could be annotating and adding text. And we, I'll give you the link to that. I have another. Um, video or article on my site explaining how to annotate on any of the pictures from preview. So that's it. This is Sheila Finkelstein from Technology for Seniors Made Easy.com. You can email me. There's a link at the bottom of every page of that site at Easy Senior Technology at Gmail. Thank you for visiting. Bye.